Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to swatch the Derwent Crawfordton paint pan set. And I've prepared a little, here it is. Just show you again in case you didn't see my ridiculous Christmas art haul. I was debating whether I should use the water brush, but I will try it out. But for the swatching today, I want something that I know works. So I'm using, I'm using one of the Craftamo brushes and um, I always say I don't use my good watercolor brushes for other media. I don't know what they will do to my brushes, but this brush I've used it so much and it's not it's not really that good anymore anyway. Even though it's not that old. That's another topic. So I've decided to use this. It's not gonna ruin it anymore. And there it, the paint pan set comes with this swatch sheet, but it is of course always better to make your own swatches because for starters, this is just a print of something that somebody has swatched out and I want to see myself what they look like. So I'll try to get a good gradient from left to right with these. And this is autumn brown. One thing that I should have one thing that I should have remembered to do, but the thing that I never do actually remember to do, is to check if there's pig well, maybe pigment information for these on the Derwent website. And if I can find any more information on these, because there's none provided with the box. This is all we get, the names. And I don't know what how how they get how they get the colors in there. I mean there's graphite in there obviously. But so this is russet, sorry. This is meadow. I apologize if you can hear like the kitty cats playing in the background. They're playing in a box. And I don't know how much how much the mic picks up. So yeah I don't know I don't know what the what medium the, or what, what gets the color in there. They activate really nicely though. I haven't pre wet them or anything. I'm just going in there with my brush and they re wet immediately very nicely. So I wonder what happens if I kind of wet half the swatch beforehand. This is green gray. more gray than anything to be honest oh I forgot to wet my sweat swatch again this is slate green this is a very nice color. So I just got it fairly wet. Let's see if I can replicate that again. This is lovely. Very nice. Very good dark sky color for moon landscapes. Very good. This is ocean blue. Would also make a good night, night sky color. Maybe not quite so dark yet, but I mean that they're, they're nice and strong. And with these three more so than with the first three, you can kind of see the graphite kind of separating out a little bit from it as well. I mean, Let's face it, that's that's why I was so why I really wanted to get these because I thought they're a bit like super granulating watercolors, or at least like granulating watercolors with the graphite and the I don't know if it's pigments or dyes, whatever it is, kind of separating a little bit in the wash. So then we have steel blue.
And this is dark indigo. This is aubergine. It's a very dark aubergine. Oh, but I guess I can see it. There's, there's quite a lot of really good dark sky colors in here. So that's going to be interesting. That's going to be nice to play around with. Oh, I keep forgetting to wet half my swatch. So this is juniper. Port. Okay, I mean, they're, they're all nice, but they're not that far away from each other. And I think if you mix these two, you could easily get that. So I'm not, I'm already nitpicking nit color selection, but there you go. So, but I guess you can see what I mean because they're not that far away from each other. This one is maybe a little bit warmer, but still, if you mix these two together, you might get somewhere fairly close to this. But still, I'm not mad. So, and then finally, we just have graphite gray, which is probably just a graphite without anything else. Should be just a graphite without anything else. And so it's gonna be interesting to see if I mix this with my normal watercolors if I get something similar to these. If you would like to see that on camera, I will definitely try it out. If you want to see it on camera, please let me know. I can do it on camera. Also, because I just got the Schmenker Graphite Gray, or maybe it's just called Graphite, for Christmas. So it would be interesting to compare these two and see how similar they are and i have i have two of those because in the what is it the shade and tone set the graphite gray is in there and i think the autumn brown is the other one of this palette that's in there but all the other all the other paints are ones that i don't have there's no duplicates with the ink tens but yeah let's stick to the craft tint now so here they are all swatched out and you can kind of see i think that the, the prints, it's a bit difficult. Let me see if I've got any other white piece of paper. Yeah, let's put that on a white piece of paper and you can see it better. But still, there's a bit of a difference between the printed swatches and the actual swatches here on the paper. And I guess depending on what paper you're swatching on, it's always going to be looking, looking a bit diff diff different. So it's definitely a good idea to have your own swatch card. And I think what I'll do when this is dry, I might take these and put them on the other side, either with a bit of double-sided tape or see if I have any really clear, clear glue or something. So yeah, but do let me know if you want to see mixing with graphite and trying to replicate these, if you're interested in that. Because if you're not, if you're saying, Sonia, these are not watercolors, I don't care, that's fine by me. But I, I'm very, I'm very happy that I got those. And oh, do I remember where my XL block swatches are? Hang on a second. Yeah, not only did I remember when I swatched them, but I also found them immediately, which I'm in the process of. I'm in the process of tidying up, so that means I can't find anything. But that's. Get this out of the way. Put this down. I don't know if I can get this all on camera. I zoomed you in fairly. Yeah, but I think we can see. And 
Meadow is a bit similar to the olive green, but it's not the same. Then the ocean blue is less blue than the dark Prussian, so that's a different blue. The raw umber is very different from the russet and there's nothing else in there. And then the burnt umber is but it's redder than it's redder than this and it's not quite as red as the autumn brown so they are they are all adding something uh, adding something different and then here are the, the soft and the very soft graphite so they will be maybe comparable one of them will be comparable to this one probably but still so that's the that's the blocks that I got so like late in sometime in autumn yeah, but here is the palette all swatched out. Hang on, I'll take these away again because these really are the stars to show, aren't they? I'm very, very glad I got these and I can, can't wait to play around with them some more. Do let me know if you are interested because if you're not, that's fine. But then I'm no, I won't and do anything with these on camera. I will definitely try to mix watercolors with the graphite and see what happens. So Please give the video a like and consider subscribing to my channel because it really helps my channel grow and that would be excellent if we could grow a bit more. And I will see you in the next one when I swatch one of my other Christmas gifts or do a January blues mix. Who knows? Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye now. Bye.